Hello everyone, welcome to this little vid. It's a little bit of an important-ish one and a little bit harrowing just because you don't realize how fast time goes until you notice those small details and realize well it's no longer 2022 or 2020, it's 2024. So a lot of you might remember or may not remember the video I posted about getting my Lenovo laptop uh, nearly two years ago today sorry no not nearly two to, two years ago today what I got it in April 2022 so it's not a huge jump in time really in my mind but it's actually nearly two years ago and that video was filmed on an HTC because shit was kind of tough and that laptop made my day when I when I went and got it it was $800 so it was actually on special when I bought it here it is Still working pretty damn hard for a, uh, what I would deem a mid-range Windows laptop. Still working pretty damn hard. The only thing that's actually started to break down is the charger. Yeah, I've had to retape this, uh, move the wire around, retape it so much because it's just giving up the charger. So I may need to go get a new one and I thought it would be a point of failure and it has been... But, you know, it's taken it nearly two years, so I guess it's not horrific, it's not great either, but it still works for now. But, um, if I want to keep using this laptop, which I do, because it's very important to me, and honestly, just amazing laptop, the best one I've ever owned. Uh, I just want to keep using it, because it's so useful. Uh, battery life. Well, I can't really tell you much on battery life. I mean, this thing is always run on high performance mode, especially with everything that's ever been done on it. I won't say battery life is stellar. I mean, I can't really tell you much about the battery because it's never really on the battery. It's always plugged in. Uh, what I can tell you is that the battery is probably fucked. Well, let's be honest, um, it's nearly two years old. It's been heavily used. Heavily used. Look at that. Uh, yeah, but I've kept all the stickers on, as you can tell. Everything, like the stickers are still there. You can see where it's been wearing off, where it's been in my bag, and just, in general, it's looking a bit rough. I mean, even the hinges, it's starting to get a bit of bounce, um... Yeah, I mean, it is a plastic laptop, what can you expect? There's also a little bit of deck flex from, um, just, oh, actually, no, the decks, yeah, it's uh, plastic, it's just going to flex a little bit. So, yeah, um, aside from the charger, it's really fine, I mean, I'm, I'm not bothered about the battery as long as when it, the battery gives up, it doesn't kill the laptop's ability to work as a laptop. Um, as long as it doesn't do that, I don't really care. I'm still happy to use it on the charger. Um, you might ask me, well, when, when would you upgrade it? And I don't think I will for a very long time. As long as that charger keeps going, and even if it does stop working, I'll probably just replace it. But as long as this laptop keeps going, and it, and it will, because, you know, despite being put through absolute hell, and it is, look at that desktop, and this has been reset three times in its life, because the 256 gig SSD gets filled up so quickly. Um, don't matter what I throw at it, it's been an absolute soldier. And, you know, I don't think it would be a very easy thing to part with. And I, it, in my mind, I've had this for still a very short period of time. It's, it's, I mean, it's not terrible condition. You just know that this is a well-loved, heavily used laptop. That still makes me laugh. Like, look at that. That lid used to bounce a little bit when I got it, but it's really kind of stiff now, and it kind of, yeah, I don't know, and it shouldn't still be wobbling, but, for instance, here's a, here's an HP from 2013, it doesn't have nearly as much, because this mustn't have been used very much, so I bought this for 14 bucks for no hard drive, because uh, it had no hard drive cable and no keyboard that worked, but, I mean, it's still pretty stiff because it's a fucking piece of shit HP, but look, I don't care about anything. This laptop, I love it, I always have, and it will always be used. The performance, it's still got fucking amazing performance. Everything launches 
pretty much instantly. I can go to my about section of the PC and it'll it'll uh hey why did it launch Java? I said oh for fuck's sake. That one. There. Reasonably quick. I mean the specifications aren't they're not amazing. They're it's a Ryzen 3 for God's sake, but you know, I've upgraded the RAM, I've really done nothing else. That's all I did because the RAM was 8 gigs originally and the graphics card really loves to um, pin off and swap uh, memory for its fucking own usage. I mean, look at this. This is what you get. So the dedicated GPU memory, which is included in the actual GPU in the uh, CPU, is 2 gigs. Then it goes ahead and steals 5 fucking gigs from the computer. 5. So in total I have about 7 gigs. Uh, it doesn't make the performance any better than the chip allows it to be, but... Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. But it's still just fucking cruising along at the bottom, so, you know, it's barely really being used. So, yeah. What do I use this laptop for? Well, I use it for Beam. I have to run the settings pretty low. In order for it to run. But that's all good. I don't really care. I don't need a gaming computer. I've got a fucking Xbox if I want to game. But if I want to do GBMG and I play that out of all of my games the most. I got it on there. I have to run it at 1600 by 900 on fucking low settings. And it'll run. This is a pretty a reasonably old laptop now. And not super well specced. But yeah, look. It'll absolutely smash any basic tasks and and it'll play BMG on low settings i'm happy with that it does video processing really fucking well and I, I still say that to this day i use power director in fact i use the same version of power director i put on when i fast uh, first do, started doing house 101 which is a something that don't bother asking about it's just rampant bullshit but um i still do house 101 i just haven't really released anything if you're wondering, for all the people that do know, um, I still use PowerDirector 18, so it's still on outdated editing software. I've actually moved a lot of stuff over onto this one, just in case the charger breaks, before I can replace it. I could replace it now, but it's 50 bucks for a new charger, and I'm still mulling that over on my head. So, yeah, uh, at this stage... I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to just have to keep taping that charger until it no longer works, falls to bits, blows up, whatever, and then I'll just buy a new charger. Because this computer has pretty much proven itself to me. I mean, look, these stickers have lasted so long they've started tilting. But it's it's earned that place in my heart where I can say, wow, this thing's reliable. I'm going to keep it until it dies. And then it will go to the landfill, of course.